Hey, I'm Matt Benson from Pooter High School, and today I'm gonna to show you how to set up the HTC Vive. Let's get started. First off, we're gonna pull out our HTC Vive and all its components and make sure we have everything we need to start our virtual reality experience. We have our virtual reality headset, which has three long cables coming out of it with orange tips. Next up is the link box. The link box connects the virtual reality headset to your computer. Accompanying the link box, you should have a USB cable, an HDMI cable, and the link box power. Next up, we have our controllers. The controllers each come with a micro USB controller charger. So make sure you have that, and that'll plug in to the bottom of the controller if you need to charge them. Next up, we have our two base stations. Each base station comes with a power cord, as well as two tripods to mount your base stations in your virtual reality play area. Finally, you'll have your Alienware computer, your Alienware power, which I would leave plugged in all the time because it really drains the juice really fast, and you'll need some sort of headphones. The headset has a headphone jack on it. Uh, we like using the wireless headphones because it's one less cord. Okay, so next up we need to find a space to set up our HTC Vive. You're going to need at least a 7 foot by 7 foot box of open space for your VR participants to go in. However, you can go bigger than that and you're going to have to for certain apps that require a larger play area. You can go all the way up to 16 feet across between your base stations if you need. Um, however, this space I have right behind me is 14 feet across and it's been plenty big for any app I've tried. You also want to set up your computer so it's just outside your VR play area. Okay, now that we have our space figured out, we're ready to start setting up equipment. So the first thing we're going to set up are our base stations. The base stations are the little black boxes and they're going to track you when you're using the HTC Vive. So um, really important piece of equipment here. So I went ahead and screwed this on to my tripod and I plugged it in. That's something you have to remember. These things do require power and so that might change up your space a little bit. The power cord's fairly long, but not super long. So uh, keep that in mind when setting it up. Now, once I get it on here, I'm gonna tilt it down at about a 25 degree angle. So it's gonna be facing down into the VR zone that I've created here. And then I'm gonna raise this up. Now you have to have it up at at least six and a half feet I prefer to go a little higher, put it about eight feet. So um, depending on your space and how tall your ceiling is, I would say do eight feet if you can, but if you can't go that high, you know, six and a half feet is the bare minimum. So I'm gonna go ahead and raise this one up to that height, and then I'm gonna do the other one. As you can see, I have my two base stations set up, plugged in on tripods at about seven and a half feet, pointing slightly down at each other. I uh, do know that the base stations have channels and you need one of your base stations to be on channel B and one of your base stations to be on channel C. If you need to change the base station channel, there is a button on the back. Next, I'm going to connect my VR headset to my computer. But before I do that, make sure your computer is powered down and off. Start by connecting the orange tipped cables from the headset to the orange ports on the link box. Next, connect the link box power, the USB cable, and the HDMI cable to your link box. And finally, plug your USB port into your computer and your HDMI port. My HDMI happens to be on the back and my USB happens to be on the side. Also make sure that your link box is plugged into an outlet. Your Vive equipment is pretty much set up and ready to go. However, there's a couple more steps that you need to follow. First, turn on the computer and log in. Once the computer is set up, launch the program SteamVR. SteamVR is going to tell you if it recognizes your base stations, your controllers, and your headset. But you're not quite done yet. From the SteamVR app, run the room setup. This allows it to calibrate exactly how your VR zone is set up. Once you've done that, you're ready for the amazing world of virtual reality. Hopefully this helped. Good luck.